What is up everyone, Nick here. So as the meme stonks keep on keeping on, we as long-term investors continue valuing companies' long-term projections based on statistics, fundamentals, and business operations. Wow, was it ever a busy news day for NEO. This stock is volatile, like volatile is going out of style. NEO could maybe cure world hunger, bring peace to the earth, cure cancer, send humans to Mars, and they'd still be trading down in the red. There is only one way to play this stock in my point of view, and it's long term. We'll be discussing why it's down, deliveries, speculation, options, and price predictions. Join our Discord on our NEO channel. We have really neat scoops in there. It's completely free. Shout out to everyone who has already joined. We have a ton to get into in today's video, but before we do, Weevil has improved their promo. They are now offering four free stocks worth up to $3,700. All you have to do is one, sign up, two, open an account, and three, deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. They are a 0% commissions trading platform. They offer some of the best analytics in the game. This offer ends soon, guys. Don't sleep on this one. Check out the Patreon page and the Discord channel. They're both linked. All of my trades are posted in real time. I finished 2020 with over a 50% ROI, and I'm going in for the same this year, baby. Smash the like button for Lee Ben. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here's what I'm going to do for today's episode. I'm going to talk about the factors acting on this share price, why we may see an escalating share price throughout the course of next week, and where their share price could ultimately reach in the coming weeks and months. So let's first start off with a broad overview on their day. As always, and I mean always, we saw volatility off opening bell. I personally think the best way to invest in a volatile stock like NEO, or any stock really for that matter, is to avoid the first 45 minutes after opening bell and before closing. This stock is so unpredictable right now, and even when good news emerges, we see other forces acting on it, bringing it down, and vice versa as well. Now firstly, I want to talk about some huge news coming out of the Morgan Stanley camp, and then touch on their newest SEC filings and options. Alright, so the infamous Morgan Stanley has boosted up its price target on NEO, and they did so in a massive way. They brought their earlier PT of $33 a share all the way up to $80 per share. This is a whopping 142.42% increase and much more in line with the times and trajectory of this company. We have seen analyst upgrades left, right, and center pouring into NEO and really affecting their share price. Now I've stated before that I've noticed above all else, one thing that really drives up NEO's share price historically is analysts upgrade on the stock. Now off opening bell, we saw NEO shares well into the green, however that $60 resistance line strikes once again and the valuation just cannot seem to break away from this. We have hit the ceiling for the past month now and I think what is really lingering over is the uncertainty regarding January deliveries. I have been and will continue purchasing shares of this company on dip days in the red. It has been my personal investment strategy since $3 a share and it's worked out extremely well. I believe in the long term prospects of this company and don't get caught up in the day to day or week to week undulations. Remember, there hasn't been any insider news resulting in this valuation decrease. Nothing fundamentally has changed regarding their plans, their management, or their ongoing pursuit in becoming profitable. Nothing. There is a ton of uncertainty and anxiety in the markets right now, and this is climaxing in hot stocks like NEO. It should also be noted that options expire today, which is likely pulling down the share price. Now a high point on the day is that that 57 resistance line seems to be absolutely rock solid. Solid. That thing is basically unpermeable. It's like me getting rejected by girls. However, the shares do seem currently trapped with the $60 resistance line. It's basically a game of Pong bouncing in between those two. If an MS $80 PT can't break through the $60 resistance, then virtually nothing aside from strength and delivery numbers or NEO becoming a so-called meme stock via Wall Street bets will smash through. That is, until their January deliveries are likely released on Monday morning before opening bell. I'll get to this in a minute. NEO also released a new SEC filing today, specifically the form SC13G-A. A lot of you on Reddit were asking about this form and what it means for the company. Now, a Schedule 13G form is a beneficial ownership report. It's a form used to report a party's ownership of stock exceeding 5% of a company's total stock issued. Not too complicated. Now, a beneficial owner 
is anyone who directly or indirectly shares voting power or investment power. So going into the details of the form, we can see that it's highlighting an increased partnership with the investment management company, Bailey Gifford, Neo Scottish Partnership. They increased their stake within Neo to 107.907 million shares, now representing an 8.35% stake. It should also be noted that they have voting power of 81 million shares. Now this isn't overly important, it's mostly clerical red tape, but I thought I'd address it for those who have been asking on our Discord. Now volumes were quite shy today as it looks like uncertainty in retail investors is dominating. However, I did personally pick up on the dip. I do think that if Neo posts above 8,000 deliveries in January, shares will likely shoot into the mid 60s and hover there until the Q4 earnings. I don't think they will consolidate in this yo-yo fashion as we've been seeing for the past month now. Remember Neo's fundamentals, people. They are continually growing. They are expanding into Oslo and potentially Copenhagen. They have partnered with the Hefei government to install a swarth of battery swapping stations, improving the robustness of their infrastructure. They are gearing up to release their ET7 and their 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. They have been increasing deliveries every single month. There is so much to be bullish about this company on, and I for one am remaining Neo long. I by no means think a share valuation in the triple digits is out of the question by Q3 this year. I really do not. I will have a follow-up video explaining the fundamentals here so make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss that anyways everyone just remember that when they are in the red it's not always the company's fault it's not always a company's fundamentals there is a ton of uncertainty in the markets right now gearing up for their january deliveries gearing up for q4 and hesitancy within the broad market itself i really do think neo shares are going to pop open wide on monday morning and i personally am using any chance in the red to buy while i still can I will have a follow-up video releasing tomorrow explaining when, why, and how Neil will reach $100 per share this year. Don't forget about the Weeble promo, four free stocks worth up to $3,700. This is really a no-brainer. All you have to do is one, sign up, two, open an account, and three, deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. They are a 0% commissions trading platform and offer some of the best analytics in the game. They really do this offer and soon, guys, you do not want to sleep on it. Check out our Discord channel. It is completely free. What a cool and growing environment that is. The link is also in the description. You get some extra perks if you join the patreon page and i would really appreciate it thank you so much to all those who have already pledged you fuel me and keep me going it really means the world to me anyways everyone i will see you all in the next video take care happy trading cheers